Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also that bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up and that's where you guys come in. If you enjoy the content that I make and that I make so much of it, please take a second when you arrive to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping Truons get noticed on this huge YouTube platform. So I'm thanking everyone in advance for that thumbs up. Okay guys, this is always so exciting for me when the Ipsy PR package shows up before choice day and it did. So I'm able to pull everything out and we're able to get not only the spoilers that I always share with you guys here on this channel, but we are going to get in-person spoilers. So and also when there were some products here that I was able to put on my face prior to, to give you my mini reviews or first impressions, I did that as well. So we're going to go through all that together. But before I start all this, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Yesterday, we hit the five thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is just mind-blowing to me because my channel is very focused and we grew because Ipsy grew and BoxyCharm grew. And now with all the change with Ipsy and all of that, we knew that Ipsy bought BoxyCharm, but now Ipsy is taking over and the companies are not being run separately anymore. So the amount of boxes that we are going to have to purchase, at least for a creator, by having two accounts, which I know a lot of people that subscribe to my channel do, we're now going to be able to get it all under one place and we're going to be able to see that through the boxes that they are going to be keeping within the Ipsy umbrella, we're still going to get the best of everything plus what BoxyCharm was doing outside of what Ipsy did, like the mega drop shops, they're bringing that over too. So I think we're going to be getting even more excited for the boxes because we're not going to have any of that crossover that a lot of people were talking about. For me personally, I'm going to miss the whole BoxyCharm, uh, everything about it. And, and I really truly feel that because of BoxyCharm coming into this beauty community of subscription boxes, it pushed Ipsy to become a better company that we're seeing now. Ipsy always had those you know, sample sizes and they always had that shopper, but they never had a full size box before BoxyCharm Base Box. So it's just really exciting with all the changes that are happening. But I also think, you know, dollar-wise, especially with everything that's going on right now, it'll be easier for us to have everything without as many boxes as we are used to getting, but still getting the products that we really wanted to get at these prices that we get through this subscription box at Ipsy. So like I share with you all the time, how this channel started was when I got into subscription boxes, it was a new world to me three and a half years ago. And I started with the Ipsy box, the Ipsy bag, which at that time it was $10. Now it is a $13, but they charge that $1.99 handling fee, which they do on a lot of their things that they sell. And so, but it's still free ship in the USA. So this bag that they call the glam bag, nothing is gonna be changing with this bag. This is fantastic that we're still going to be getting a bag with this box, plus what they say is five deluxe sample sizes for a value around that $70. So the values are always there. We get to try so many products and a lot of times they will put in here one and sometimes even more than one of a full size in here. So I think through the items that they put into the PR package, remember this is, I still have all of my paid for versions that I'm able to share with you all of that information also because I pay for this subscription. But the PR package that we've been getting on this channel for over a year, they really came into True One's life very early on. And it is something that I've always been really, really happy about and feel very blessed that I'm able to show it. But when it comes prior to, and we get to get that in-person, you know, sneak peek spoiler, it's everything and more. This bag, I think is gonna blow everybody away. The graphics on this is just, it's, it's embossed. It, it's so well, well made. On top of it, the zipper is in usually in a spot where 
We only get it like in a mystery bag. And the toggle on here, one size says Ipsy, but the other size has a gorgeous coin, like uh, it's with Aphrodite. It's just, just stunning. So when you open this up, you, you see that inside it is fully lined with the Greek goddess type of colors, that gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I'm really, really impressed. And remember, this is only the bonus bag, all right? So now the card that comes in here is one that they're saying this month's theme for March, 2023. They're saying this month is all about celebration of the women's empowerment. It says our biggest allies on the journey to self-expression and confidence, we're giving you everything you need to embrace your unique beauty. From a feel-good beauty routine to a community of inspiring women, cheering you on along the way because when women come together you're not only powerful we are unstoppable and it's called step into your power which i think is absolutely absolutely fantastic and then they have another blurb in here about living our best life and all of that i'm so happy with these cards when they give us those inspirational thoughts Sometimes when you get the glam bag, you will also get the information about the products on the card. But on my channel, I always prepare ahead of time, you know, so if the information isn't on the card, you will be informed on this channel as well. Because this channel solely focuses on the brands, the products, and of course, when we can get an amazing deal. And usually that is through description boxes. All right, starting with the first item here we have from Kinship. This is another brand that I absolutely highly, highly recommend. This will be a new product for me. It is called the Bright Wave Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. It says it's an energy drink for tired eyes. They're saying it is clean, cruelty-free, vegan, and also dermatology tested. So when I open this up, and if you're not familiar, I open up everything prior to, and I take a picture for my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, I always share with you that you are missing out because as my channel grows here, my Instagram has is already over 6,000 there. And I get a lot of companies that reach out to me there that they only want to post on Instagram. So this last weekend, I was able to post about uh, some beautiful skincare lines like Derma E, uh, Replenix, and then uh, a beautiful package from Laura Geller. So if you haven't seen those, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And my name there again is True Once with the number two. So what I do prior to is I open up everything to make sure that everything in the bag or in the box is what should be in there, but with a PR box, we never know. But I do take the time to remove some of the packaging and the stickers because here we don't do any edits. I sit down, I go through everything, I try to prepare as much as I can ahead of time so that I'm able to get all this information up to you guys as quickly as possible. And then I watch it the same time when I post. I, live i'm watching at the exact same time as you guys do so when you leave me comments when the videos do get posted right away i'm answering usually right away as well so this is here this is what it looks like there is no real scent to this product uh, today this morning i used i, I bought through um the add-ons the gorgeous kit from ole hendrickson and this is very similar to that product as well. So this is really nice. They brighten up the eyes. This is a real, real fantastic product. I'm excited about this one. This is from the brand called Kinship. The next item in here is from the brand called Hey Honey. It's called Make a Splash. It is an intense hydrating aqua serum. And they're saying this is a moisture enhancer with honey and vitamin E. This is another brand that really, really impresses me. I'm just gonna pull up my Improving Lifestyles um, magnifier that has the LED light in it. I always tell you guys, if you don't have this, you're missing out. And I always have this usually linked in the description box down below. As long as we still have it available, we're getting, it's becoming harder and harder to get this product. So it says, this lightweight water-based and oil-free water serum will serve as a moisturizing booster that releases a burst of hydration, nutrients, as well as promotes cell rejuvenation. It's crafted to promote beautiful aging, smoothing, and balancing our skin. So this is a brand that also is a really high-end brand, and we're, I always feel lucky when we get this brand in our boxes. Again, there was another little safety seal in here that I pushed back, and then let me just put a little bit out here on the, um, just push it back a little bit more. I put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see the consistency of the product. So it is a white cream. It feels very lightweight. There's usually no scent on these products either. And this is what this looks like here. 
and it really a little goes a long way you can see that it went literally all over my whole hand and it was less than a pea drop so excited about that and like i said there's no real scent it just has that clean you know fresh scent to it the next item that is in here is another product and this one is from the brand called glow on fifth beauty they're saying this is a pore affecting detoxifying mud mask that's what that looks like here this was completely sealed uh in a, a wrap i'm going to see the best that i can to see what's written on the back of here because it is white writing and it's saying uh hit the reset button on any dry dull skin and then you can enjoy refreshed smoother skin with this deeply detoxifying this is going to be a mud mask so let's open this guy up and even with that extra seal that was over it there's another seal inside here that i'm just going to peel off and this is what it looks like here we'll put a little bit on the back of my hand so we can see the actual consistency of the product so it is truly that color that is that mud mask again there's no real scent on it this reminds me so much of the Borghese masks that I used to use in the past. This is really, really a fantastic, fantastic product. All right, then we got into a mini mascara. And this one is from the brand Tarte. And this is a brand that I have a lot of their products, but I never had the opportunity to try this one until today. And this is one is called the Lash Tint. And I'm gonna open this up so I can show you how fantastic the wand is on this. It is such a unique wand. It has different um, bristles throughout. I'm gonna do my best in the camera to try to get it so you guys can see. There's almost like a comb-like area and then a brush area as well. So you can actually comb it through your lashes and then turn it that you can get the brush part on there as well. So when I put this mascara on, I tried to do it just with the comb. However, when I put my mascara on, I, you don't realize how you do certain things until you have to share with others how you put mascara on it, it's crazy. But when I put this on, I tried to stick with it with just one side that had the comb. But I find with myself, I guess the way that I put on mascara is I start at my base and I must turn. So I have it on that I tried to do it one way and then I found myself with my other eye taking it the way that I normally would where I go to the base of the lash and I just turn the wand up as I pull it out. And it worked to me the same both ways, but uh, I do feel the right side ended up a little bit um, longer and it might be because I put the comb way through on that eye there. It is a nice mascara and I always share with you that a lot of times when I have the opportunity to get mascaras in these glam bags in the sample size, it is fantastic because the brush and the formula is exactly the same that's in the full size. So you really get to know if this is a mascara that you're gonna enjoy, if it's too wet, if it's too dry, if it has um, raccoon eyes, you know, at the end of the day. So for me, that is always something that I always enjoy taking the time to try. And then if I don't get them in my bags and I see some brands that are coming up with new mascaras or mascaras that I haven't tried, I usually will pick them up in the add-on sections for that $3.50, because that is the best way to try a new mascara. And then when it becomes a choice item, you're not gonna waste a choice on something full size that you don't know if you're already gonna love. So you'll know on this size if this is one that you're gonna to wanna to use one of your choices on in the future. And here is a full size that was in this bag. And this is from the brand called Pear Nova. Now I knew nothing about this brand until I started seeing it in Ipsy and they started off introducing this brand to us with hand creams and nail polishes. So it's really nice that this brand also has cosmetics and we're getting the opportunity to try it. This is a lip liner and it is one that I use and it's a perfect match for the lipstick that is in the Glam Bag Plus, which is probably the last time I'm gonna be saying Glam Bag Plus because in the future, this is gonna be called the Boxy Charm Bag as well as Boxy Charm with a Boost. So this one here is the Pear Nova and it is in the shade that is called Rocket Ship. And this has a point to it still, even though I used it as to line my lips and I put a little bit on the inside here. So I'm just going to do it a few times here so you can see how dark and how gorgeous the shade is. And I'll do one right uh, above it. It is such, and I still have the uh, mud mask, sorry. This here, so this was one swipe and that was a couple of swipes. This is so creamy and so, 
it stays exactly where you put it, but it still has a creaminess to it that is really comfortable on the lips. I could have just simply put this on my lips, filled my lips in, and I would have had a gorgeous, gorgeous color as well. So excited about that and excited so many of us are going to have the opportunity to learn more about this Pear Nova brand. So that is everything from the Glam bag that I got in the PR package. The next one is we're going to go through is the Glam Bag Plus. And like I mentioned, this is the last time we're going to be getting these bags as well. And I know a lot of girls didn't enjoy these bags and they complained a lot for the few people that I had the opportunity to watch open up bags. But for me, this was always a bag that I really, really enjoyed getting, not only for the creativity of the bag, which they always, always tried to, whatever the colors were on one, they tried to incorporate in the other. But this was something that I used to give a lot for gifts. So I was able to put a lot of sample sizes, sometimes even full sizes in these bags and use them as gift bags. It's also fantastic for me where I was able to have it for my hair accessories, as well as uh, sheet masks, things like that. So I got a lot of use out of these bags. So it will definitely be missed. And then they have that gorgeous face that's the same that was on the coin. They have the gold uh, pulleys here. And again, this is one of those bags and they did a beautiful job making it ombre with all the blue going all the way through. And the other side is just like the watercolors on this side here. So like I said, they shared with us that this bag is no longer gonna be uh, coming with when they switch over next month where the Glam Bag Plus will then be called BoxyCharm. And so this is gonna be, for me, missed. So we're gonna enjoy it while we can. All right, starting with the next bag, this is a full-size bag where you get five full-size products in the base bag, which is what the Glam Bag Plus was, which is in comparison to the BoxyCharm base. That's why they're gonna be changing the name simply to BoxyCharm because that's exactly how BoxyCharm started was with their bag that had five full-size products. Starting with the first item that in here, a brand that I share with you so much on my channel because it is one that I really, really enjoy. I'm also very lucky early on they reached out to put me on their also their PR list. So I had the opportunity to try so many of their products, but I was purchasing their products way before this PR list. So it is one that I'm really enjoying as well. And this is from their Evercom line. And all their items that are in this type of green color are from their Evercom line. And that line is really fantastic because everybody, even with sensitive skin, can use this line. This one is a newer product to me and it is called the Barrier Support Elixir. And their brand is all about clean to skin, clean to earth. They're really a fantastic, fantastic brand. So this is products that respect uh, your skin as well as the planet. That's what they're all about. And they're saying inside here, there is a Camellia Japonica seed oil to soothe your skin and help reduce signs of sensitivity. It has an organic incha oil that is a rich source of essential omega-3 and 6 to replenish our skin barrier. And it has meadow foam, which is a seed oil that is rich in lipids to nourish the skin. So that is what this is here. I'm just going to see if there's any information on the back here that I, I feel is really important for us just to share right here off the bat. Um, and I think that's pretty much what's here. It's developed to combat dryness and signs of sensitivity. This light, fast absorbing face oil strengthens the skin's barrier. It's rich again in the omega-6 to prevent water loss, recovering your skin in comfort and a healthier looking complexion. The results, you will have a moisture barrier to strengthen your skin that feels more comfortable and calmed. It's suitable for sensitive skin type. And then to use it, it says use daily warm five drops into the palm of your hand and apply gently patting all over the face neck and decollete i only did a couple of drops on this when i got it uh, in and i was able to then use it that way and this because i'm a combo girl i'm always a little bit nervous when it's oil so this is what the bottle looks like here and i took just a couple of drops out which i'll show you again here and when i did your the component is easy to take out the amount of drops that you want and exactly what they said is what I did. I put it into the palm of my hand. I then pressed it together to get the warmth. And then I took it and I placed it on my skin. I was surprised how quickly this penetrated into my skin. Like I said, I'm always afraid of oils, but I'm telling you with this brand, they have not disappointed me yet. And including with an oil, this is something that I'm gonna to continue to use. So excited because I definitely see results with this brand and I love everything that they stand behind. This is also a full glass bottle as well. The next item in here is from First Aid Beauty. 
And this is one that I've received in the past in a sample size, and it is one that I use and I'm really impressed with. This is a mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 30, and this is also safe for sensitive skin. They're saying the benefits on this is a lightweight, non-greasy, easy to spread and absorbs quickly. There is no white cast on any skin tone. This is formulated with zinc oxide, avocado oil, as well as vitamin E. And then they have the information on the back here with all of their ingredients. And let me just see if there's any information that's here that I should be sharing with you guys. So it, this of course will help uh, to prevent sunburn. It has 20% of zinc oxide. And it says if use is directed with other sun protection measures, it says see directions, decrease the risk of skin cancer and early signs of aging that is caused by the sun. And let's say, keep out of your eyes, all of that, that they always say. So the directions are to shake well before use, apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours. Then you can use a water resistant sunscreen if you're swimming or sweating. And then it has uh, sun protection measures and it goes through all of that and tells you, you know, not to go up between 10 and two, everything about the sun. When we grew up, at least my generation, you know, <laughs> We didn't know about all the evils of the sun. We loved sitting out and a lot of us used to sit out even with baby oil to try to get that, you know, sun exposure and tan to our skins early on. So this, I did not prime before. So this is taking a while to put on now. I just wanna show you, it comes out white. I, like I said, I've used this before. And a lot of times when we get these pumps, a lot of us might feel they're broken, but they're not. They just have to get the air to penetrate in uh, and get it to come up because there's usually no um, tubing in here. But um, you just have to be patient and pump and pump and continue to pump until something comes out. So this is what this looks like here. This is enough for your whole face and your neck. So one pump will do it. It looks like it is white, but when you put this on and you get it all over where it needs to go, you will see that that white will go away and then you will not get any of that back white cast that sometimes a lot of sunscreens used to give us. So that is this product. That is our second full size product that is going to be in the box. I'm gonna to try to leave the lip product on because I wanna show you how beautiful it goes with this lipstick here. The next item is one that I actually got introduced to through the BoxyCharm box. And this is a brand that I also really fell in love with. It is called Levito. This one is a brand that is inspired by nature. This is a musk and coconut scent. It is an uh, uh, aromatic body lotion. And this is a product that I think is made in Israel. Let me just double check this for you guys. And this is to hydrate, nourish, as well as protect. And this is manufactured, um, they said also it's for this Levito USA, but it is made in Israel. And this is a musk and coconut, uh, as I mentioned, lotion. And then it says it is an organic shea butter that also nourishes as well as hydrates and protects, uh, leaving our skin soft, supple, as well as delicately scented with that musk and coconut throughout the day. For all skin types, it says, can use this as well. And this is really a nice size. Do I have on here, how much is in here? This is 4.5 fluid ounces or 120 mil. This also came with a safety seal, so I did remove that as well. And I just want to take this off, but I didn't smell it yet. Very, very lightly scented, you, you very, very light. If you're sensitive to scent, you do not have to worry. It is a completely pleasant, pleasant scent. And again, it goes on beautifully. It has a bit also, to me, at first, like a baby powder even in there as well type of scent. So that is what that smells, that smells like. That's what it looks like here. It has a really beautiful hydration to it as well. So that is the next item that we have in the box here. Then we get into some of the cosmetics. And this box had this Wonder Beauty, which is a brand that I absolutely love. And they gave us a face and eye palette and it's in what they're calling Sun Kissed. And that is what I'm wearing on my face, so I'll be able to share with you. It does have a mirror in here as well, which is the full size that is here. So I'm just going to cover that up so I can go up close to the camera to show you. So this is the bronzer that I have all over my face. This is the blush and the highlighter. I then use all of the colors that are down here. I will swatch these for you and we're going to go through each one at a time so that you can see how gorgeous these colors were. But I have the bronzer, the blush, 
the highlighter as well as the eyes. And then I'll share with you on the eyes what I did because I only wanted to use what was in here. The only thing that I put on my eyes that is not on my face is uh, I tried the new um, that I purchased for myself last month or this past month, this month, because <laughs> we're still at the end of February. The uh, Nat uh, Natasha, Natasha Denona X foundation is what I'm wearing. Over it, I have a light of my Celebration uh, It Cosmetics uh, foundation. Uh, for under my eyes for my concealer, I ended up using the Item Beauty, which I'm enjoying so much, uh, and uh, then the Banana Powder from Ofra. So then I was able to do everything else here. Oh, I also did a little, little bit of a liquid eyeliner uh, from the Koki one that has two sides to it that we've gotten in other boxes. So like I said, we're going to then go with the bronzer. This broke bronzer in this one is in the shade that's called Costa Ray, R-E-I, and it is simply, simply gorgeous. Right next to it is a blush that is in that gorgeous, gorgeous color that is that mixture of that pink and peach, which is in the shade called Bellini. And then the highlighter is in the shade that is called City Lights. And what's fantastic, let me see if everything is dry on my hand here. What is fantastic about this is I also was able to use the highlighter in the corner of my eye to give it that brightness. Because I have such small eyes, I always try to lighten up the corner and then bring it a little bit to the first part of my eyes so that I'm able to kind of open up my eyes and then I go from the lightest shade to the darkest. So that is how stunning. And these went on beautiful. And a lot of times when I worked with the Wonder Beauty products, I found that their pigmentation is the type that you normally have to really build up. And I felt with this palette, it was really strong right out of the bat. So you don't have to worry that you have to blend, 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 but I'm really impressed with the formulation in this palette. So the next items here are starting with the lightest. We have Nude Beach. Then right next to it, we have Chateau. And then we have two uh, satin shimmers that I'm gonna share with you in just a sec. So these are the two shades here. So this I used all over my lid. And then this shade that's next to it, I ended up using as the transition shade. Now this shade, as you can see, it's more like a chocolate brown and the bronzer has more of like a gray tone to it. So what I ended up doing was I put this all over my eye and then this I used, as I share with you all the time, I go above where my natural crease is because my eyes are so small, I almost create that illusion that I have more eye space and I ended up using that above where my real crease is. And then I took the bronzer color to deepen up with a mixture of this one to give it a different color to create a little bit more definition on the outside of my eye. Then I took this shade here, which is stunning. And this one is in called Yacht. And then the next one beside it is in Bungalow. So these look to me, this is the color when I swatched them both that I ended up choosing to put in the center of my eye. When I did, it left a beautiful, beautiful color, but when I spritzed it, it popped even more. So on a finger swatch, which I never put these products on with fingers, I know a lot of girls do, I like using brushes on my eyes. So this is how gorgeous the colors are. So I ended up going with the more coppery tone as opposed to that tone there. So this is, I think, absolutely, absolutely stunning. So that is the palette that is in here. Really impressed with, it's what I'm wearing on my eyes only and the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter as well. So really, really, this is to me an absolute treat. Made this box like a win because I was able to do my whole face. And these are the type of palettes that I used to always look for when I was purchasing palettes when I went traveling so that I was able to take one and be done. Then the next item that was in this box is from Ofra. And this one here is their long lasting liquid lipstick and it is in the shade that is called Pasadena. And I think this is the only shade that when we did the spoilers that they were showing for this month, that is what I have on my lips. And I completely forgot how the Ofra long lasting lips feel. They feel like nothing. You put it on, it almost has like a mousse like texture. And then you don't feel like you have anything on your lips. It is not drying and it gives you that beautiful matte. So if you're doing a lot of talking like I'm doing now, you do not have to worry. There's no slipping, there's no sliding, there's nothing. So it is just, just stunning. And then if you're lucky enough to get the Pear Nova in the, what shade did I say this was? Rocket something, Rocket Ship. 
you will see how gorgeous. So I'm gonna do one swipe right underneath so you can see how light you can go with this. And then I'm gonna dip back in again and you will see that when I went on, I was able to also go over it to deepen it up even more. So if you want a lighter shade on your lip, you just go in with one swipe, which is that one there, and then you can deepen it up even more like I did. But look how perfect that liner from Pear Nova is with this here. So I think this is an absolutely match made in heaven, even though they're from two different brands. If you're lucky to be able to get them in your box and you see that this is a choice item and you end up choosing this shade in Pasadena, then if you see this in add-ons or if it's already in your box, you will ha be as happy as I am with the look that I was able to get. And that's everything that I have to spoil for us. So the next thing will be on the second of the month is when we get to make our choices for the month of March. Hopefully this informative video will help you with that selection. And I love being able, like I said, to get these spoilers in person so that I can share with you how everything worked, how it looked, be able to swatch it and give you a lot of the information that is on the back of the cartons, as well as if I've had the opportunity to use it as well. Don't forget about the 5K giveaway that we have going on for the whole month of March. We are gonna pick five winners. We have five huge, huge boxes filled with separately so that you can pick and choose, or if you're like me, you can enter to get into all of them and you can read all of that in the description box under that video as well. Once again, thank you so much to Ipsy for sharing this with this channel, True Wants. It means everything and more to me, especially when we're able to get access to this information prior to Choice Day. And that's it for today, guys. So take care, everybody. Continue to stay safe and well. Please share in the comments if you've had the opportunity to try any of these products. And if you're talking skincare, always make sure to share your skin type because I'm a combo girl and how something works for me might not work for a dry skin girl. So if you're a dry skin girl and you've had the opportunity, make sure to share that in the comments down below because that's what we do with each other here. We share information about the brands, the products, and of course the deals. Take care, stay well everybody, and I'll see you all soon again in my next video. Bye for now.